The builders' plates that the Australian company Clyde Engineering produced for the diesel locomotives they constructed are arguably one of the most decorative plates used anywhere in the world, and this has made them highly collectible, both locally and overseas. The 13 and 3 quarter inch wide stainless steel ovals first have the features pressed or embossed into the surface and then have a durable, high quality enamel paint applied. Batches of these new plates then have the model and serial number information stamped in the appropriate box when required. When the first locomotive emerged from the Clyde factory in 1951, its builder's plate had a bright red sun behind the Phoenix, and this appeared on all plates up until sometime in 1977 or early 1978, when the decision was made to remove it. It is thought that this was done so that a longer box could be provided to accommodate the more complex model numbers that began to appear. For the first 54 locomotives, a numbering system was used that was based on the number of specific locomotives in each model. So for example in this plate, which was attached to Victorian locomotive B79, it is the 20th ML2 unit constructed which was actually the 31st locomotive Clyde built. This system changed in 1955 with the 55th loco, when from then on each consecutively built locomotive received a number in chronological order with a prefix that indicated the year of construction. This plate, which is off GM14, was constructed in 1956 and was the 84th locomotive to be built by Clyde. The blank plates had their model and serial numbers stamped on them in batches and carried year prefixes based on the anticipated delivery date, but occasionally delays occurred after the plates were stamped, meaning that the year shown was not actually the year in which the construction of the locomotive was finished. Here is a sample of Clyde Engineering diesel locomotive builders plates. It is thought that the plates were used up until the last 82 class loco, 8258, which carried the builder's number 94-1372. Generally, each locomotive carried two plates, one on either side, but in some instances a plate could also be placed in the cabin. If anyone is able to confirm or correct any of the information presented in this video, could they please post an appropriate comment?